Hi friends, this is Calpo in Pisa. Uh, we have that day of prayer. I want to give you some clips because the Governor Perry, you know, is suffering from cry psychosis. It's a, it's a delusion inducing uh, beliefs in imaginary friends, bizarre beliefs. People don't realize that. Believing God is a mental illness. It's a form of schizotyping. And uh, this clip will actually connect. You see the problem that we have in this country. Uh, if Governor Perry was not a sick man, you know, he would, if he had cancer or any disease like that, he would just kneel, fall on his knees and pray. Don't call a doctor or somebody, a scientist that actually cure his uh, his, uh, his illness. He's a hypocrite, but he's a very sick man. Christ psychosis. Like all the followers of uh, the imaginary friends and all of the delusional beliefs. Here are some clips. That's why I'm calling on Americans to pray fast, like Jesus did. Organizers hope the event dubbed the response will kickstart a sluggish economy. Psychotic imbecile. The malaise. It's the critics argue. If the latrine of sub Jesus is found in Jerusalem, would you worship his cropolites? Something like this? Of course, this is from, from my God. Oh, I'm sorry, my dog. Can I screeta? Full of bacteria and life, and we all have it inside of us. And Christ had it too, right? You know, we have all kind of bacteria inside of us, but we are born lacking belief. Nothing. Our brains are full of neurons and quadrillions of synapses passing information like universes inside of them. And that's actually a fact. This is what we create God with. When it malfunctions, when you cannot tell fact from fiction, and also when you're extremely ignorant, then you accept all these retarded fantasies as true because you know you're ignorant of science. And that's the truth. The, f the fact is there are as many gods are as the brain can create and is the most devastating neurological disorder that has affected humankind. It might end up destroying us. Cry psychosis. And its African derived All common cry psychosis adopting the local they do not religious psychosis. The only true faith. You have the prayer beads, you have the baptism, you have all kind of stuff. You have the cross, you have everything. And the saints. Yeah, very lies under cry psychosis where their mind can get, and their bodies can get corrupted. Like this example here. That you cry out, cry in your heart. He doesn't know you, that he's far from you, but that is not the truth. Your mind You're sick. Yeah, your brain is deluded. Go see a neurologist. Look at this idiot. Totally crash psychotic schizophrenic. Benny Hinn. I receive that in feeling. I Look at that lunatic. And she's loose. And she's so diagnosed with schizophrenia. Incredible. Ladies deluded. No different than a schizophrenic person. She also like the brain is causing all this, uh, these delusions. And you know this? Is composed of DNA. This tree has DNA. Everything has DNA on the whole planet. When the brain is infected, that doesn't understand science and is stupid, then it believes in God and bullshit like that. So, if you're a true Christian, why well, don't you pray? And Acropolis turn into gold if you're poor. Just pray. See what happens. <laughs> mimic the same illness that these people have, this cry psychosis. The only difference is that I am acting. Yeah, 
Look at this stress I got it. <laughs> they don't realize all this is happening in the brain. Malfunctioning brain. To, to, to bring us back to those guys are nuts. principles. The guys are cutting. They're also being raised about statements made by some response planners and official endorsers. A spokesman family association has compared gay rights activists to Nazis. See that? If you have religious views about homosexual behavior, you are squashed. I mean, ladies and gentlemen, they are Nazis. The Nazis were Christian, you imbecile. When it comes to freedom of moron, are Nazis. When it comes to freedom of religion, idiot, they are Nazis. ignoramus. Doug Stringer. This man is so stupid. He doesn't realize Nazism is a branch of Christianity created by Adolf Hitler, the savior. He was very much of the Christian. They have church. They celebrated Christmas and all that. He combined Lutheranism, Catholicism, and Roman paganism, uh, ancient religion, with Christianity, another branch of Christianity, Nazism. Look at this, a cross in all the memorials, uh, the, the swastika. Here, God with us the in the buckle of the soldiers. Of speaking in tongues. Bring a neurologist. Why don't you bring a neurologist? It is gibberish. It's a malfunctioning brain. Yeah. Yeah, normal language. Bring a neurologist, he'll tell you. Mentioned in the Bible. Yeah, lunatics. Called it speaking in the tongues of angels. Yeah, sure. The tongues of a schizophrenic people. We're in the first century. All this is created by the brain, the not the ass. Term is Come, yes. Get cure. See a neurologist. You know, uh, glossolalia. Speaking, your brain is, uh, you know, has a little malfunction, like an epilepsy. And you're still speaking in uh, gibberish, you know, like tongues and all that. It's just the same like happening as because the type of people, uh, mental patients. But of course, in say, you don't talk about Christ or Allah or the known gods. They are not deemed psychotic or mentally dysfunctional. Uh, so this is a problem. The, the reason nobody sees Christianity as a form of mental illness, but it is, unfortunately. It is a mental It's very, very dangerous because nobody seems to see it. While Christ psychotic see the image of Christ in a marble slab, I see the orgy of the Lord Peter's Christ. Paridolia. Remember, all of this happened in the brain, produced by neurology. We're in the 21st century. Coming down her house. Oh, yeah. The Romans came and set our houses on The Romans? <laughs> oh, my oh, my God. You're retired. You're still living in the Middle Ages? suddenly. For the second century? This <laughs> What about the aliens? Are you sure that one of the green aliens came over to your house? <laughs> sure, not these people are schizophrenic. They don't realize that the brain is creating all that. Give them some medication and they'll change. Give them a shock. And they won't speak like that. They speak retarded right now. It's retardation. People on the psychosis of bizarre metamagical beliefs. Uh, which all religions have that. Uh, on the ignorant, you know, they can be cured because they're ignorant, they can guide it, be guided into uh, differentiating between fantasy and reality. But on the, uh, the very highly educated, uh, it is devastating because uh, they obviously have a psychosis that uh, nobody seems to see because it's, they're talking about, about faith and about spiritualism and about gods and things like that, which is, uh, is a form of a disorder. People don't realize this is what happens inside the brains when one is communicating. Uh, when, the, when it malfunctions, uh, things don't connect correctly. You have neurons, dendrites, and the different path between the temporal lobes and all that, and the anoccipital lobe. Response defends the governor's the handling of the event. The governor is holding a Christian event. Yeah, it's a crazy The governor is it's not schizophrenic. holding the event. He's the initiator. He of the trumpeted website. and made a declaration. He made it sick. Day of fasting and prayer and asked the church He's to sick. respond to that. The it's church psychotic. is doing what we should be doing anyway. He lost in a mental institution, not as a governor. A call that could work on Christian conservatives. Trick yeah, the you're nuts. Is what happens if he wins the GOP nomination. Ugh. Having to be brought up again and again by his opponents to say Governor Perry does not represent the separation of church and yeah, state. Yeah, the mentally healthy, the atheist, yes. 
the response. Only 8,000 people have signed up online to attend this event. That's at a venue that fits up to 70,000 people. And Governor Perry has also called on governors around the country to come to Houston yeah. to take part in this event. But in we'll the, only in pray, uh, belongs in a mental institution. The guy's stuck in the Middle Ages. They come. It's a well, crisis psychotic imbecile. It for us over the weekend. An ignorant idiot. And the ignorance of this man's problem is due to his uh, malfunctioning brain because his uh, beliefs in these imaginary friends, not realizing that God is a creation of the brain. Uh, many times when there is a misconnection on these uh, particles of the brain, you know, the, the uh, frontal lobes uh, miscommunicating with the, uh, uh, with the occipital lobes, then you have this. And Harry Potter can be compared to Jesus Christ because they are imaginary friends. Uh, this is the biggest problem today. And people don't realize they are thinking, they are projecting their thoughts there are bizarre metamagical beliefs with their malfunctioning brains. That's called religion. Problem is, uh, let's show you, this is, this is a bit of the, uh, the ad that they were showing to get Christ people psychotic. to come. This is In what Texas. they showed. Economic collapse, injustice, violence, perversion, division, abuse. There has to be a response. Depression, addiction, fear. Why is this happening now? Why is this happening to us? Oh, to me. The it's rapture to this nation. You know, throw your hands up and say, Jesus, take the wheel. But, See that? Christ, I got it. But since only 8,000 people have signed up, we decided that this ad was not cutting it. So we made an ad. It's amazing to me that uh, uh, Bill Maher didn't actually, you know, define religious people as... Uh, people suffer from neurological disorder. As he said, like about four years ago, he's refraining from saying that. And, uh, you know, they, these people have a problem with their brains and, and Bill Maher doesn't say it. And he had as a guest, Neil deGrasse Tyson, a brilliant down to earth astrophysicist. The man is brilliant. And he tells it like it is. And if he would ask, you know, uh, he will just call these people that have really a problem because they don't face reality like the Tea Party, talking about uh, the problems uh, in America with, uh, with uh, economics. And these people are clueless because they are completely away from reality like people don't, don't see uh, the, our climate change as produced by, by us, by evolved mutated primates which are going to destroy the planet. And uh, the man is brilliant. It was a very interesting program on uh, Real Time with Bill Maher. We must expose uh, spiritualism, faith, believing God, and uh, all that as a form of uh, schizotypy, a very dangerous neurological disorder that could make us extinct. Christianity is the worst one, and it's going to take us to the ruin if we let these people in government. Anybody that believes in God, in God should not be allowed to... Uh, to run for office or to be in government at all. It should belong in a mental health clinic. Anyone that believes in resurrecting zombies, which are anybody that is a Christian has to believe in resurrecting zombies. Hey, I know the truth hurts, but it must be exposed. And I'll be, I'll be telling, telling you like it is until I die. Because uh, this has to be exposed because nobody seems to see it. Hachi de Orme.